How's it going, everybody? Um, this is Soho Productions here, and uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on uh, the Timberland open hi hat technique. Um, what this is is the usage of an open hi hat that Timberland does on his on a lot of his beats. And um, an example would be "Apologize" by uh, One Republic, uh, produced by Timberland. Uh, the links in the sidebar to the uh, song, and um, what I want you to listen to particularly is the open hi hat. You'll notice that this open hi hat sound comes in right before the snare. It'll be it opens up like tss, 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 like that. It opens and then it snaps with the close of the snare. Now uh, we're gonna try uh, duplicate this in uh, FL Studio today, and um, I got a little pattern opened up, a uh, drum loop. Uh, it's kind of complex, but. Uh, uh, it sounds Timbaland-ish, so that works. Um, what we have here up here is the kick, and now we I've layered our, layered a whole bunch of snares together to get the nice thick um, sound of uh, Timbaland snares. So I'm gonna play the loop for you in this whole chunk of percussion here, and uh, yeah. Alright, um, so that's pretty much the main uh, solid beat. And now we're going to add this open hi hat in. So if you went and uh, listened to the listen to Apologize, you, you would notice that the open hi hat would be right before the snare. So what I'm going to do is put it two beats just before the snare. One, two. Alright, here's the snare. Another one right here. Another one right here and another one right here now I'm gonna go ahead and play it and uh, you'll, you'll be able to hear it um, come in and um, yeah let's see okay I'm gonna take it off now and uh, you see the difference And with it in. See, um, you can hear it come in, and it comes right before the snare. And the only problem we have now is it doesn't cut it off. Now, if you listen to Apologize, you'll hear the open hi hat cut off as soon as that snare hits. And the way we achieve that. We open, we click on your channel settings, open it up, and now you have sample, instrument, miscellaneous, and function. We want to click instrument settings, and we have, we get an envelope right here. It'd be turned off, it, it, yeah, it's going to be turned off, and what you want to do is create an envelope which will turn out to be like a perfect rectangle. Now, for those who do not know what an envelope is, it's like basically the, well, it can be applied to different things, but for now, it's the actual, like, volume sound, since the volume tab's been opened. Um, the sound of the instrument, like, how it's going to be played. So, the first line over here is going to um, resemble the amount of time that the sound takes to fully come up to the peak up here. Uh, this could sound a little bit confusing. Um, I'll see if I can find an article on the internet or something. I'll post the link on the sidebar again. And um, but what you want to do is create this. Turn it on first. Drop the attack all the way down. The hold all the way down. It's all the way down. Sustain all the way down and release all the way down. Okay. And um, yeah, you don't want the DK to be up on here. Just everything all the way down. Now what this does is it's going to make it come in right. As I press the sample on the keyboard, it's going to come in right away. And this means it's going to hold on till its full velocity. And then once I let go, it's going to cut off. Okay. So what this does is allows me to set a certain amount of time period that this hi-hat stays open in. So if I go <coughs> uh, play it now, uh, you'll notice it's still it will still be the same. So. The 
open hi hat is still leaking over. So what I got to do is transfer this over the over to the piano roll. Now when I get to the piano roll, it looks like this because you have the open hi hat and it's continuously dragged on to the next hit of the open hi hat. Now we want to want to cut it off right before that snare. Now we're going to take all these off. You don't have to, but just for um, this purpose. I'm going to play it one more time through. Okay, now I got to figure out where the snare is hitting. And um, I know it hits one time here, so I'm going to place that open hi hat from here to here. The snare is going to hit on this one right here, this note right there. So I want this open hi hat to go on and then cut off before that snare hits. Okay. Now the next snare will hit it right here. The other one will hit it right here. And the last one would hit it right there. So basically what's gonna happen is gonna play, open up that hi hat, and then cut it off right there, snare, and then it'll stop. Nothing's gonna happen. Again it's gonna open up the hi hat and then cut it off right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and play it. And um, that's pretty much it.